if you want a quick, easy guide to post effects, you've come to the right place. There's no Twitch streamers, there's no Labs players, it's just us sitting here at Interchange with a dark corner, a forklift dead ahead of us that's vibrant, and the sky among us to see what settings we should actually change within this menu. If you want to know what settings won't affect your FPS that much, brightness, saturation, colorfulness, and luma sharpen all have very little impact on performance along with the color grading. If you're GPU bound, you'll probably see anywhere from 2-3% to degradation when you have all of these cranked up to max together. And when I say probably, I mean might, because in my testing, I couldn't find any difference in between having these settings on full and having them off. Numbers are listed here. As you can see in cross comparison to the numbers that I had before, it's not that much of a difference. These are all personal preference settings, and you can set these at will. To go through each one of these settings, brightness, obviously, is how bright you want the image to be. If you have this too bright, your eyes are going to burn when you're outside and it's the middle of the day. You want to make sure you strike a balance in between the brightness so that you're not killing your eyesight by the time you're 50. I tend to run this about 55, though this is even too bright for some people when they're watching my stream. So you might want to tone this a little bit more down if you don't like oversaturation, as that's what will occur when you try to bump up the color settings. Those color settings are saturation and colorfulness. They both affect different levels of the color in the image. Saturation, I tend to see has a bit more of an effect of the color of the ground than colorfulness does, but that's just my view that can vary from person to person. And what you set this at can also vary. This is another one of those personal preference settings that doesn't have much impact on performance. For me, I set saturation to 30 and then colorfulness to 60, but of course, you should test and see what colors work best for you. I just really like how vibrant this makes the image look. Setting these back to standard again, we're going to go to clarity next. This is one of those settings that can impact your performance. I saw roughly a 5-6% to degradation in my performance when I was testing on customs with this setting in a GPU ball next scenario, of course, numbers on screen. So make sure you change with a grain of salt, especially if you're in a heavy GPU bound scenario most of the time when you're playing Tarkov. I tend to run this at 25, but you can bump this up to whatever you like if you like it to be even sharper and clearer. As you can see, when I set it to zero, the textures on this pole and the textures up here and on the ground are a bit blurry, but as I up the clarity, the darker lines within the textures tend to become more prevalent and the difference in color in between each pixel of the texture tends to be more relevant and apparent. Keep in mind, however, that within my testing, I noticed that regardless if you have the setting at 10 or at 100, the amount of impact doesn't change that much. So if you're running this setting, be wary that this will cause a little bit of a dip in GPU bound performance. I like to run this at about 25, but you can always bump this higher if you like how the clarity looks. Next, bouncing past colorfulness is Luma Sharpen and Adaptive Sharpen. You can think of Luma Sharpen as the lighter weight brother of Adaptive Sharpen as it sort of does the same thing, but it does it in a lighter way that doesn't make too much of an impact on your actual performance. In my actual legitimate testing, I couldn't find any difference with Luma Sharpen set to 100 in the actual benchmarks. However, with Adaptive Sharpen, it can tank your FPS by about the same as Clarity does, 5%. As you can see though, both Lumen and Adaptive Sharpen can have an impact on the clarity of the image and the clarity of textures. It can make, for example, the dots within this barrier, the dots and specks of dirt, become much more prevalent with a higher Adaptive Sharpen setting. Luma Sharpen can do the same thing, but it tends to help reduce the blur on separate colors within an image, whereas Adaptive Sharpen tends to literally forcefully sharpen the image up, almost like the sharpening setting that's within your game settings. Adaptive Sharpen I run at 80, and Luma Sharpen I run at 65. The last of the settings here are color grading and colorblind mode. Both of these, I was able to find just a slight impact on performance that's really close to just being margin of error, so I wouldn't even bother with this in the first place. You are free to choose as you will. There might be a minor, minor impact to your GPU bound performance, but it's very little. So set these to your preference. These are all my settings at their fullest. I may change these over time to adapt to the graphics overhaul that's been that's going to be coming eventually, quote unquote. But I, I have both clarity and adaptive sharpening enabled, so it does tank my performance by a little bit in GPU bound scenarios. But I say it's worth it for the improved clarity, especially in the dark corners. It also just makes the game way less depressing, so if you like that, then you might want to try to follow these settings at least a little bit. Feel free to experiment though in offline in a bunch of different scenarios and find what works best for you. I hope this quick guide helped, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or join my Discord to ask them. 
I'll be having plenty of content coming up for more important settings than post FX pretty soon. And also, I totally didn't forget to mention I'm streaming Friday night at 7.30 or 7 p.m. CST, one of the two. Definitely be there. For now, this quick guide's over. This is Clem, clocking out. Later.